What's going on, everybody? My name is Latunga, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a brand new Lego video. And today, it is a very, very exciting one indeed, because today, I'm finally going to go on ahead and begin the check mark for the last main series Lego title that I have not played. And that is, of course, Lego Indiana Jones 2. The adventure continues. So today, we're going to start the walkthrough and work our way through. But First and foremost, I do need to go on ahead and ask you guys for a little bit of support. So smash the thumbs up button. Let's try to hit, if we can, a thousand likes on today's video. That would be tremendous. Let me know down in the comment section below, what is your favorite Lego Indiana Jones, or sorry, not Lego Indiana Jones, your favorite Indiana Jones movie. And of course, in addition to that, brace yourselves because this is regarded, I would probably argue it's either the worst or the second worst Lego game ever released. So we'll see just how bad or good this title is. I am actually playing it on PC, which is permitting me to play it in 4K upscaled resolution at a pretty nice 60 hertz refresh rate, as well as with extra uh, texturing and high graphic settings turned on, which is pretty awesome because that means that, of course, I will get to enjoy the game at its most pristine looking um, resolution and frame rate. So that's obviously wonderful. And in return, so will you. So with that in mind, let's get rocking. Let's get rolling. Let's press new game. Oh, interesting. Six safe slots. That's kind of different. Usually Lego games have four, I believe. So it's kind of new. I, I know that that's like a weird thing to point out, but Bruh. I'm a little surprised. That's all. Okay, here we go. So Lego Indiana Jones 2. Auto save will now use game one. We got the uh, indie hat. For the low, jeez, that scared the heck out of me. Wait, what? This is how it starts? Huh? Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? So just... Now, Kingdom of the Chris Crystal Skull, I think that's the fourth Indiana Jones movie, right? <laughs> What a weird structure for this game. Everything is so different here. What the heck is happening? There's like a thousand different unlockables. There's vehicles. There's characters, I think. Then there's whatever the heck all this stuff is. There's some treasures on the... I have no idea. I guess let's just press start story and see what happens. Okay. There's a red line. That's headed coast to coast in the U.S. Okay, here's a professor, I think, of some type. Whoa! A suspicious moment occurs! I forgot that they still don't have voice acting in this one. Because I think this game came out like a year after the first Indiana Jones game came out. Or very, very shortly afterwards now i have literally only seen kingdom of the crystal skull okay so we can lift up benches interesting uh i've only seen kingdom of the crystal skull once so i don't even recall how accurate this is of course i think the most famous scene that everybody can recall from the crystal skull film i think maybe that's the only scene that everyone can recall is the uh explosion and him hiding inside of a refrigerator i certainly hope that scene is played out in lego form at some point uh but for now i guess we start with our classic strategy for every lego title and that is smash and bash our way through everything to gather some studs okay well i guess we found a red power brick just that easily and structurally this is just Maybe we found two red power bricks. This is the... What is happening? There's like colored bricks. You can't introduce red power bricks and them not be cheat codes. That's what we're used to in Lego games. Why would they go and mess with the formula? Now I'm confused. Is there some sort of brick collecting element to this? Okay, that's indestructible. I think we're inside a level... But I don't even know. Maybe we aren't. Maybe we're in a hub world. Because I don't see any type of... What 
what the heck is happening? Seriously. You need a wrench to fix broken machinery. Well, I don't have that. Okay, so I guess every fire hydrant needs to be destroyed in order to... My guess is at least earn a red power brick. Okay. This is structurally the most confusing Lego game I've ever played. Is that a monkey? That is a monkey. Who seems to be playing with, like, the wind-up key? A monkey will give you an object to re in return for a banana. Find a banana. Okay. Like, the, the, where am I just going to... Whatever. It's just the way they phrase it as though it's like, oh, there's just bananas everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Wait, what? He has a gun? Okay. That seems odd. Can I grapple this? I'm so confused. I'm telling you guys, I've played a ton of these games and never have I ever been this confused. There's a banana in the mail. I mean, okay, whatever. Just don't question it. Hey, here's a banana. Give me that. What prevents the monkey from just booking it out of there? Okay. It's a very ethical monkey. He's a monkey of his word. Okay. Whoa! We're going on a train! Here we go! We're going on a trip! On a train that then takes us down... Is that towards... I couldn't even tell on the map there. How far south did they go? Did they go across uh, the U.S. down to South America? Okay. There's Marshall. Who's Marshall? I don't know. But he has a sweet car. I'll say that much. There it is. Look at that classic. That's a beaut. This is like uh, the worst Fast and Furious chase scene ever made. Okay, there's a race that the ice cream truck has just won. Wow. Unbelievable. Somehow the ice cream truck won. Oh! Indy was hiding out within the vehicle. Who is that? I love the glasses. Those tiny kind of like villainous glasses. Is this Area 51? Bro, aliens are real. According to Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Yeah, I love how she's pretending that she's got magical powers to open up a door when... One of her lackeys just hit a button. It's like, okay. I mean, you do you, I suppose. Okay, here we go. So now we're within a level. Because now you can see that classic stud counter down there. So now we are structurally inside of a level. So here's Mac and here's Indiana Jones in his... Shikes, dude. These jump scares are ridiculous. In his uh, kingdom uh, of the crystal skull outfit not that i could really tell i feel like indiana jones almost always looks the same unless if he's got jacket or no jacket isn't doesn't he have the same outfit it's not like he's iron man it's like mark one mark two mark three you know what i mean it's pretty straightforward okay so we'll be able to move over to there momentarily i wonder what the um true hero like whatever it's called in this maybe like True Explorer or something like that rank. Which is collected by... Can we... I wonder if we could swing across. Ooh! Okay, that works. 
So it just automatically activated when I pressed X on the jump, which is cool. Because that actually permitted us to um, get an extra handful of studs. So that's nice. The game, by the way, looks great. Like, visually, again, that's one of the things that I would personally recommend. Like, if you have a good enough PC and you want to play these games that are much older, play them on the PC because they offer you a much higher refresh rate. Graphically, it will look better. It will sound better. So... Uh, this is definitely the way to go for these older titles. It kind of does make me want to go back and check out some of the other ones. Like, I want to see what something like a Lego Batman would run on a pretty powerful PC that I'm fortunate to have. Okay. We got a good amount of points right there. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Now, hold. What did it say? Hold the... Oh, because I got to jump up here. Got it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to first get our blue stud there. Then we're going to go swinging. Sweet. We made it across. We have to push this down in order to get Mac up. At least I think we do. I haven't really had to build anything yet, which is interesting. That's very un-Lego-like. And speaking of which, here we go, finally. Uh, climbing platform for Mac to get his... <laughs> what was that little shake that he does? I think he just like shimmies back up top. Okay. You do you, bro. Interesting. Uh, why does that look like it's supposed to attach to something? Huh, but I don't see anything up there. Oh, because that's like a, it's a fan that you have to power up in order to send that flying. Actually, I want to pause. Huh, interesting. So the, I don't see anything that pops up with like mini kits or anything like that. Because usually, obviously, as you guys probably know, I mean, if you're watching this channel, you obviously probably know something about Lego games. Uh, but typically speaking, in a Lego level, usually we collect something like a mini kit or the equivalent of mini kits where there are 10 of them in a level and you collect them and then you unlock some sort of reward, whether it be another character, another vehicle. Uh, it might be just something that is like some sort of a statuette that you unlock as a reward. But the point is that you will unlock something as a reward for that. Interestingly enough, that doesn't seem to exist here. Um, so that's definitely kind of different. We did find a bunch of blue studs in that corner. So definitely make sure you don't miss out on that. Now, I think... We have to use this guy because he has the gun in order to hit the target. So that's the same as it was for many other LEGO titles. Where if you have those um, targets, you got to use a, a long-range weapon in order to clear them. Okay. That's a lot of TNT on the right there. <laughs> Look at that. That is pretty bananas. Okay, so we have this big giant box that goes over here. I wonder what this is. It legitimately looks like a staff. Like, I feel like a wizard. Okay, so as long as he stands there, I can travel up here and get the extra studs plus our very first purple stud, which is kind of nuts to get a purple stud on the very first level of a LEGO game. That's very different than usual. Uh, at least in my mind, I don't recall that being particularly common. Usually... They kind of reserve those for later in the game or when you come back and free play. Just because a purple stud is so incredibly rare, typically speaking. So it's kind of odd. I saw somebody post a hilarious meme about um, the Lego studs as though that's the original cryptocurrency. And that was pretty funny. That was a pretty good meme. Oh, okay. Hold up. So I guess we have to do two of these or set up two of these, I suppose. There we go. Okay. Here we do. Whoa! Okay, forget about aliens. We just brought to life a golem. And nobody's acting like that was cool. Okay. Bruh. Okay. I mean... Fine. So... Did the game really just say find some water bottles to take out... The fire? Are those water bottles? This is so bizarre. Oh, dude! 
Bitte! Bro! Oh my goodness, I literally just lost a thousand points for nothing. How do I throw the water bottle? There we go. It didn't want to get thrown. I was pressing X. Because I am actually using a Xbox controller. Since it's just a lot easier to play um, than having to use keyboard and mouse. That's the only downside about playing on PC. Is the keyboard and mouse. Is there any reason for why there's a third water bottle? I guess not. Also, I don't understand how two water bottles put out that whole fire, but okay. There were some magical water bottles, I suppose. Some very, very mighty water, bottle, water bottles. Should have got some sort of sponsorship there. Could have uh, done a huge crossover. Been like, yo, check out this smart water or some other water. Uh, what is this? This looks like you have to, like... Maybe put a staff there or something. Whatever it is, I'm sure we'll figure it out. For now, let's advance over to this side. Okay, so that's where these things go. These spears. It is interesting that they have this... Um, I kind of appreciate that, at least, about the game. I should give it some credit, obviously. Um, I do like the fact that it has these... Um, like, a, a bit of a different approach to puzzles when compared to a lot of the other LEGO titles. Like, I like that there's a lot of going back and forth, like, grabbing certain type of loot and applying it for that particular puzzle or task. Uh, so hopefully we'll see that get more and more complex so that then it actually becomes more and more interesting throughout. But it is cool that we've already seen quite a bit of puzzle solving in the first level and very little um, actual fighting so far. I don't think we fought any enemies. I think the little like conflict that happened was in a cutscene so we literally have not fought anyone yet so that's definitely different too makes this feel again very unique in the library of overall lego titles just because it's so different when compared to every single other one okay and these does disappear super fast though like, you better pick them up as soon as you can, because they are teleporting Audi. Okay, so these pads are from LEGO Star Wars. And LEGO Star Wars The Clone Wars, which we just finished on the channel, actually had similar pads to that. So I think what we need to do is bring a heavy vehicle uh, onto that pressure pad. I don't know what this thing is, but I guess we'll just collect some of these rewards first. Weren't they looking for something inside this, like, uh, storage facility of Area 51? Like, some type of treasure or something like that? Or maybe it was the, the Crystal Skull that they were actually looking for in here. I honestly just do not remember. It was so long ago that I've watched the movie, and I've literally only seen it once. So I don't have as much of a recollection of it as I do of some of the other Indiana Jones films. Um, it doesn't look like I can actually manage this double jump. And we can't manage that double jump either. Okay. Um, so let's think here. What can we do? It looks like we might be able to step onto these boxes and then step onto these buttons. Great. Wow, wow. A tricycle. And what did that do? It did absolutely positively nothing. And what did that do? It did... Absolutely positively nothing. Okay. Not sure what that was supposed to accomplish. So for now, I guess let's carry on. Up, up, and away we go. You get more momentum when you go a little bit lower. Okay. Wait, what, Mac? 
how the heck did you just jump up here, bro? That was quite impressive. So everything seems to be getting magnetized to that crate over there. Making it quite clear that whatever's in there is quite important. What'd you say? You just screamed out some orders. Oh, Mac betrays Indy. Uh-oh. Brah, come on, man. <laughs> what the heck is that? A monster of cutlery. Uh-oh. Here we go. This is probably where we actually fight, right? Move, Indy, move! Good dodge. Oh, that's because of the magnet. I was like, confused. I'm like, why the heck is there a washing machine walking across the floor? Is like a Transformers? Which, by the way, would be the franchise that I would love to see ta uh, Lego tackle next. Oh, look at that. Cool moment right there. Epic Jeep. Dive and... Then our characters get flung across the stage. Not good. And we are not sort of. We're literally right back where we started. Okay, so the first thing I should be able to do is probably... Ow, dude! Holy moly. Okay, so you just made us lose a handful of studs. Okay, but the first thing we're going to do is park over here. Jump onto there. Dang it. The plan was to use the jeep... Okay, so I think we're supposed to make him miss. Okay, that's not what we're supposed to do. Here I was thinking like, oh, okay, maybe we're supposed to grab the grenade and throw it right back at him. But boy, oh boy, that doesn't work. Uh, yeah, yeah, what do we do? Place vehicles in both pads. Yeah, I, I understand that. I don't have two vehicles. Wait, maybe I could just get up there and then punch him. That might work. Bro. Seventeen hours later. What is this guy doing? Okay, you do you, bro. So he's just gonna throw stuff now? Okay. This is so confusing because. Oh my gosh. Oh, I know. Now we do have two vehicles. I'm boosted. I forgot. We got the Jeep. How could I forget? Oh, wait. Hold up. Before I do that, though, I'm going to see. I just realized there's a big giant crate right here. And it's probably full of studs that we can collect. Okay. Nothing hidden back there. How does this guy even throw like that? Who is this dude? He's got, like, some ridiculous, super accurate throws. Okay, sweet. I got the blue stud. We can move. Okay. Um, boxes, and then some type of a switch. Okay, I have no idea. Can we... Can we just back up a little bit? Okay, leave the car there, and now move. Move, 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 move. Okay, destroy that. Do we get our rule breaker status or something? We don't. Bro, this has got, like, this accuracy that he has is absurd. Bro! 
the splash damage as well. I mean, that's ridiculous. Pull the switch to make something happen. Great. We made the ladder drop. Great. So now we, we actually do have to scale back across and I guess go after him. Oops. It actually looks like you can make it across without actually swinging, which is somewhat surprising. No, I'm not going to climb up because I do not want to take AOE damage. Where are you going? He just drops down like it's no big deal. There we go. Boom. Mess him up. After all that, we still lost. No. I mean, could that be any more of a fail? It cannot. It could not have been more of a fail. Seriously. We put all of that together, solve all the puzzles, and we still lose the fight against one random henchman. But I suppose to a certain extent, that is kind of what Indiana Jones is about, right? The fact that even though he's super clumsy, he still at the end of the day ends up winning the fight. Okay, great. So true adventure. Okay, not explorer. It is true adventure that you earn by collecting in this case it was 60,000 studs which is awesome of course you have to put a lot of attention into actually collecting studs really early on in any lego game because you're going to need every stud you can get to get characters and to get um, red power bricks and things like that even though in this game i have no idea how any of that is going to work because it seems to have a really weird structure for the hub worlds and stuff did he just capture us with a chain whip what the heck bro also copyright my guy you can't you can't take indiana jones's own thing and then just be like oh well he uses a whip but uh, so i'll just make a whip out of a steel chain and that'll be fine bro okay disrespectful i'll remember that as we lay the smack down on this guy okay let's go we got to get across quick 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 Okay, press the button, press the button. Okay. I'm in... Bro. I can't even get away! Okay. For a second there, it seemed like you could... Can we jump on now? I don't know. This is so confusing. There's obviously something else you have to do. The question is what? Can you do anything or do you just literally have a brush? Is that his entire set of abilities? I mean, if that fire gets him. Got it. Okay, I finally figured out what we have to do. Two. Go, 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 go. I mean, that seems like a pretty extreme way of getting rid of an enemy, but, you know, Indiana Jones does Indiana Jones things. He literally just shot a flaming rocket. Basically, used a flamethrower on this dude, so. Probably not. Not the most heroic way of winning that, but. Seems like the guy's fine still, somehow. I don't understand how that's possible, but. What is up with all these squirrels or whatever they are? Badgers? What kind of animal even is that? I don't even know. I'm so confused. 
Okay. So, we got a bunch of studs. We unlocked the janitor, who goes by the name of Janitor. Raiders of the Lost Ark box unlocked in the warehouse. Creator box unlocked in the warehouse. Continue story or return to warehouse. I think we're going to continue the story. Uh, we're going to find out what the story has to offer. I think this actually is the little nuclear town where that famous scene with the refrigerator happens. And so that is what we'll be tackling next. Again, if you guys did enjoy today's episode of our very first dive into LEGO Indiana Jones 2, it is a very, very confusing experience so far just because it's so unlike any other LEGO game that I've played. It's not even necessarily all that bad yet. It's just very different. And so we'll see where the adventure takes us next. In the meantime, I want to thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Don't forget, guys, the best way to show support is just simply hitting the thumbs up button. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And of course, let me know down in the comment section below what is your favorite Indiana Jones movie. If you don't have one, then please let me know what was the first Lego series that you watched on this channel. In addition to all of that, guys, of course, if you would like to support the channel beyond that, and if you can afford to support the channel beyond that, consider becoming a member, or you can also grab some merch. I'm really Really, really glad that you guys are enjoying the new hoodies i'm super duper glad to hear all the positive responses to them so thank you guys to those of you that have been picking those up have an absolutely fantastic day peace out see you laters alligators bye, -bye guys